Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial series where I will guide you through a structured workflow for modifying metahumans using MetaForge. In this video, we will cover how to prepare a base metahuman and retrieve all necessary files. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future tutorials and let's get started. So to start, we need to choose a metahuman to use as a base. The closer the initial metahuman is to your desired result, the less time you will spend refining the mesh and facial expressions later. If you already have a 3D model of your reference character, you can use Mesh to MetaHuman plugin to create a closer base MetaHuman. While this process takes some time, it really improves the quality of facial expressions. I might cover this in future tutorials, so stay tuned. For now, let's stick to the general workflow. So choose a character wearing only flip-flops to ensure all polygons are included. This is crucial for properly aligning body bones and recomputing split normals at the neckline for a smooth transition between the head and body. Once your base metahuman is ready, you will need to retrieve its DNA and FBX files for further editing in Blender. Add the metahuman to your Unreal Engine product. Open Unreal Engine and click the plus icon. Select Quixel Bridge. Make sure you are logged in to Quixel Bridge. Navigate to MetaHumans, My MetaHumans, and download the desired MetaHuman. If you are using Unreal Engine 5.5, avoid optimized MetaHumans. These MetaHumans don't include a DNA file, which is essential for the editing process. Once the download is complete, add the metahuman to your project. Don't close Quixel Bridge just yet. You will need to locate the DNA file. Click on the three dots next to your metahuman and select Go to Files. Navigate to the following directory, Tier 0, Asset UE, Metahumans, Metahuman Name, and Source Assets. You can copy this file to a more convenient location or just copy the path to its original location. I prefer to collect all source files of my project in one place. You will also need the FBX file for the body and optionally for clothes. Open the blueprint of the MetaHuman in Unreal Engine. Locate the body skeletal mesh, right click and choose Asset Actions, Export. Use these export settings FBX 2013, Vertex Color checked, Level of Detail checked, Morph Targets checked. For clothes, if you need clothing, you can use another metahuman with a similar body type. Follow the same steps to export the clothing skeletal mesh from the blueprint. So let's recap. Choose a metahuman that closely matches your desired character. Remove any clothing to access the full mesh. Add the metahuman to your Unreal Engine project. Retrieve the DNA file from Quixel Bridge directory. Export the FBX file for the body and optionally for clothing. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or run into issues, feel free to drop a comment or join the discussion in our Discord community. Thank you for watching. See you next time.